Welcome to Armchair Outdoors. Today, we're in the living room, so I can show you a couple of tents. Over here, North Face's Assault 2, and over here, Black Diamond's El Dorado. But first, let me tell you about a guy. This guy had a couple of problems, but none was worse than his dreams. You see, every night he'd have a little bit different dream. And the first night he'd dream that he was a teepee, and the next night he'd dream he's a wigwam. And then he was a teepee, and then he was a wigwam. Then he was a teepee, then he was a wigwam. So he thought, this is strange. So he decided, I better go see a doc. So he goes in and sees this doctor. He's like, doc, I got issues, man. Doc says, well, what seems to be the problem? He says, well, first night I dream that I'm a teepee. And then the next night I dream I'm a wigwam. And the next night I'm a teepee. And then I'm a wigwam. And then I'm a teepee. And then I'm a wigwam. And then I'm a teepee and a wigwam and a teepee and a wigwam and a teepee and a wigwam. And Doc's like, whoa, stop right there, man. You're too tense. Now we're going to do a quick setup demo and see which one sets up faster and easier. Over here, the North Face 10, and over here, the Bibbler or Black Diamond El Dorado. Both poles, sets of poles, have been fully extended and assembled and are sitting right here, ready to go. Our tents have been thrown out as if we're ready to set them up. The only difference between the two is that this one is internal poles, this one has external poles. Both of them have the doors slightly vented to allow for air to escape when we package, and package them and roll them up and pack them back in our backpack. Internal poles, external poles, let's see which one goes faster. On my marks, get set. Done. Now for the Eldorado. On my mark, get set, go. Done. Let me show you what comes with each tent. For our North Face Assault 2, we have our stuff sack, directions, tent, 
vestibule and pole, tent poles, four snow stakes, extra guy line for the tent or the vestibule, 12 DAC aluminum stakes, and a sack to put all those in. With black diamond, your package trimmed down just a little bit. You've got guy line, six stakes, tent poles, tent, stuff sack, some instructions, and a few extra clips for the internal poles. Black Diamond does offer an optional vestibule with pole, three stakes, and a sack, and both companies offer optional ground cloths. Now that our tents are assembled, let's look at some of the key differences. Let's start with size. You can see the peak of the north face, significantly shorter than the peak of the black diamond. Let's move inside. With my feet against the end of the north face, I lay back. I am five foot eight and I have about that much room between my head and the material. Plenty of room side to side. In the black diamond El Dorado, my feet actually have to push the door up just a little bit to get my heels at the end of the tent. I lay back. Again, I'm five foot eight and I have this much room. With basically the same amount of room side to side. Some other internal features. They have no pockets around the perimeter. They have one large gear loft up top. In contrast, the Eldorado has one, two, three, four gear pockets around the perimeter. No gear loft, just some venting up top. As far as doors go, North Face Assault 2 drops down from each side, and the Eldorado opens up to one side. Both have mesh bug netting. The Eldorado is a full mesh. The north face mesh netting is just the top portion. Both tents provide a minimal amount of awning for their doors. Two triangular zip out points at the very peak is all the extra venting you're going to get from the Eldorado. As you can see, it's about the size of my fist, about the size of my fist, and then the mesh netting on the front door. Venting for the North Face Assault 2 is an entire mesh panel in back that has a zip up cover or can be fully zipped out along with the mesh netting of similar size on the front door. The zippers on the Eldorado are quite small. Standard metal zipper. Fairly advisable to tie a piece of guy line to that to help aid in pulling them. Zippers on the North Face Assault 2 already have reflective guy line with glow-in-the-dark tab pulls making it easier to open and close them. Corner stakeout points for each tent. A loop of nylon webbing. 
and a piece of reflective guy line. Mid corner and side tie outs for both tents. You'll notice that you're going to have to use the included cordage for the black diamond Eldorado. Whereas with North Face, they've already pre tied and given you reflective guy lines on both the sides and four corners with some very nice, very easy slide and lock plastic keepers. Some of the issues I have with both tents is the venting. On the Bibbler, even though they have a full mesh door, because it doesn't zip all the way down on the sides, it's going to limit your ability to vent from the top and you're going to have to vent more from the sides. Also, those two little triangles up there just don't vent enough. Although the North Face did a better job with their venting, giving you the ability to really lower their doors and the ability to lower this rear vent, they've messed up in a couple areas. First off, if you want to roll this exterior fabric up and keep it, you can't. This loop here and this loop don't mate up. The T is on the inside. So if you want to keep the bug mesh up, your T is inaccessible. They should have put the T in between the two with their elastic loops on this side all the way inside and on this side all the way outside. Then you could have chosen which one you want to roll up and keep. The other issue with their venting system is the awning. They used a plastic rod in here and no matter what I do because mine came off the spool a little bit funny it's going to be pushing against the vent. It does not stay up. So unfortunately that's not going to do me any good. The Eldorado, on the other hand, has metal wires, so when you push down, it stays down. When you fold it up, it stays up. I personally don't believe internal poles are an advantage on these two-pole tents. As you can see, you have just as much of a crease and just as much of the fabric pointing up as you do on an exterior pole setup. Where North Face went wrong is they never needed to make this two inches worth of fabric for their pole sleeve. They could have easily reduced it down to one inch or in fact as I'll show you on their vestibule could have eliminated this windsock as you might call it altogether. I've set up the vestibule poles so you can see the bend. North Face incorporates a more straight pole in the center with two slight bends at each end. The Bibbler vestibule pole has one section right in the middle with a rather steep or highly angled bend. The Black Diamond Eldorado vestibule pole attaches inside of the vestibule with about five velcro loops. The North Face Assault 2 vestibule pole slides into a sleeve on the outside of their vestibule into a low profile sleeve. As I pointed out earlier, I feel they should have done this with their actual tent as you would have had a very minimal amount of wind flexion. The Eldorado vestibule attaches with plastic clips. The North Face vestibule attaches 
through loops with a simple plastic T. The Eldorado vestibule comes to a singular point that gets staked out. The Assault 2 vestibule has two stake out points with adjustable keepers in front. Both vestibules attach through grommets on either side of the tent. However, the Assault 2 has an adjustable plastic keeper, whereas the Eldorado does not. The Assault 2 vestibule has a handy little window right in the center. The Eldorado vestibule is fully enclosed. The Assault 2 vestibule unzips and accesses from the front in between the two stake out points and can fully be moved to the left side. It is protected by a small awning. The Eldorado vestibule unzips from the top all the way along the side to the bottom right in front of the beak. Its door can be pushed to one side and it is protected by a rather minuscule awning as well. Now to cover some pet peeves with each of these vestibules. First off, I really like that North Face included a tie out right at the top of their vestibule to aid in a taunt pitch. Black Diamond has excluded any type of tie out to the peak of their vestibule. When the wind blows, this is probably going to affect this a great deal. Both vestibules have tie out points in the midsection of their vestibule. I like that. The only problem here again is that Black Diamond you're going to have to make your own guy lines. Whereas with the North Face, again, reflective cordage pre tied into a guy line with plastic slide and lock keepers. The Eldorado vestibule has a nice snug fit all the way down the body of the tent to keep blowing snow from getting through and under the vestibule. The North Face vestibule has a rather large gap due to the exterior poles. Again, I feel this could have been eliminated with a more streamlined sleeve on their poles. Because of this gap, blowing snow could work its way underneath. And the biggest fail on North Face Vestibule is right at the bottom where it starts at this point on the tent and attaches, it's wide open. Snow's going to easily blow in there. Whereas the Eldorado Vestibule is nice and tight. However, the Eldorado Vestibule is still a complete fail at blowing snow because of the front beak. Notice that we are a good two inches above the ground and this vestibule cannot be pulled down in the middle. Blowing snow and wind is going to mess with this a great deal and even if I try to pull it down and pack snow on top of it it's so tight the back of the tent comes off the ground. North Face incorporated snow skirts on the bottom of their vestibule. Snow can easily be packed on top of this skirt and will keep any blowing wind and snow from entering in under the vestibule. Because of their noted discrepancies, each vestibule is going to have its issues with wind and blowing snow. I personally prefer 
the north face vestibule a great deal over the Eldorado. So what are my thoughts on the tents? Well, each one is going to serve you well. This one's a little bit lighter, comes with a vestibule, a lot more stakes, snow stakes, and a few more features that I like. External pole setup is a breeze. However, the Eldorado has their tried and true Todd Tex fabric. It's a great fabric, it's a great tent, and it's a bomber of a tent. Unfortunately, a little bit heavy, and the price tag is a little steep for what you get. 